Hey everyone, this is a continuation video uh, to the one that you can see above. Uh, initially, I did a, a video about how to paint the clouds and this is about how to paint the trees. And here, uh, the way I would do it is to, you know, paint it in a very suggestive way rather than a very detailed way because that is how I paint and the suggestivity has its own value as it is with uh, painting a very detailed uh, one so here i am observing the shapes and the temperature and also the value and painting accordingly the initial process was uh, very easy i just uh, blocked in a blackish green color and then i did a mid-tone green i put that uh, on top of it and then um, you know put some black colors as you might have seen and now i'm you know trying to paint the greenish colors and also observing the temperature some parts are warmer some parts are cooler and here i'm using a brush uh, that is filled with white paint and painting the sky holes as they are mostly known when I do the bird holes, I generally observe which part is going inwards and uh, there I put uh, the sky color slightly darker than uh, the usual sky color and then I put the marks and here I'm using a fan brush to put the final spotty marks on top of the tree and it now looks quite realistic and since this is a very small painting, it will have some raised uh, surface but that also works uh, from a distance and you know here I am going to redefine uh, the darks when we paint the lighter marks we generally tend to lose those darks and it's very important to preserve those and uh, there is no harm in uh, redefining them a little and here I'm redefining some of the you know sky holes or bird holes or whatever you want to call them and you know putting those a little now i've just uh, moved on to another set of trees these are the background trees and they also play a part in my paintings because they create the sense of depth or uh, the you know distance in a painting to create the atmospheric effect now here is another tree that was there it's almost like a shrub and um, you know this is slightly less important than the main tree in this painting so you know here i'm being very casual and you can see there are some you know this is almost like a shrub this doesn't have any definite shape but there are some trunks thin enough so i'm painting them them with a very flat chiseled brush and this is how it looks now in the following video i'll be showing you how to do the field and also the foliage that are in front so if you like this video then please click the like button and also subscribe and remember to click the bell icon so that you get notified when a new video has been uploaded and also remember to check out my website and if you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box below and thanks for your time take care